This week, we paint Shay's car, Garen and Ellie get rocks and the bell siphon set up on their aquaponics system, then head off on a trip. Come along as mom and dad take you to feed their animals at their happy little home. Let me show you my baby's flaws. This thing oh. is uh, well, that's nice. is not doing so hot. It pulled out of a hooky thingy. And then if we peruse on to the back here, that's one flaw on the baby. The bumper has taken a beating. I do have the piece that goes here. It's cracked here, and then around the corner, it's cracked here too. Oh, that is a crack. Might just be able to replace the bumper. I'm putting a puzzle together there, huh? Okay. Yep. yep. Oh, maybe I had it the wrong way. I do. Is this way? Ooh, you found them. I even found the little ones. Found them in the trunk. Does it go that way, or does it go that way? Is this the very last piece? I'm gonna put some extra tape on the back Ooh, side. that's nice. Oh yeah. Step into our laboratory where we do all sorts of fun experiments. Little fiberglass. Is that that's one? the one with all the pieces. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah, we put them all together. That is epic. Something I love is fiberglass. I like watching it. We're on our way to Garen and Ellie's house to take care of uh, Garen and Ellie's animals. And we have to take Bryson's car. She has ours, because yeah. we're painting it. Yeah. So we're gonna paint it this week, aren't we, babes? Yep. We'll try out the old Bronco, huh, Gare? Oh yeah, it's uh it's old. Do you know how it's to drive cool. a stick shift? Sure. <laughs> Just keep grinding them until you get it in there. I don't think Bryson will mind. Nah. Getting in could be more of a problem. <laughs> We are gonna go see that dog house, aren't we? Yes, we are. I'm kind of excited to see it. Yeah. I wonder if the uh, poochies are using it. Who knows? You know, sometimes you make these big elaborate things and then the dogs don't even use them. Well, I bet they will. Because they had one in there before, so. Oh yeah, that's true, that's yeah. true. I'm driving and I go, oh, look at the flowers. My favorite thing during this time of year, I spy basically all of the great wildflowers that we have down here in the desert. It is so cool. My favorites are the orange poppy and it's just beautiful. The wind kind of blows it around and plus the colors are vibrant and fill me with a lot of joy and happiness. The flowers that we have down in our area, which is, we're, we're not far from Garen and Ellie, but our flowers down here are the little yellow ones just fields they're good of them. they're good they're really cute closer to garen and ellie's that's where the poppies are so we have to go to garen and ellie's a lot you yeah. know to see the baby and to see the flowers <laughs> april showers bring may flowers and we don't get it. we get april showers but most of our rain kind of comes a lot of it not yeah. most but a big chunk of our rain comes during the winter yeah it's for us it's kind of like winter showers bring yeah, spring may. flowers yes <laughs> You guys ready to eat? Chickens. Hi, you guys. What are you doing over here? Huh? Got an egg over here. You see the eggs? Yeah. Oh, under there? Yeah. <laughs> it's probably so private for him under there. I guess we got extra eggs for home, huh? All right, what's next? Goats. Goaties. Goaties. Just the flake, they said. Oh, they have a lock for you. What's that mean? Ah, you monkeys? Huh? That's my guess. Where's your food, guys? Oh, I think the flake is in the woodshed. Out, out there. I'll stay and visit with the goats. This isn't out wired yet. It's getting closer. What a system, huh? Let's get the cat food. You seen any cat food? I'm looking. Got it. Ah, oh, very good. We got toilet paper. Quick. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, sorry. I think that's it, huh, there? Yeah. Cute little house. This is awesome. Heading back. We did our duty. How does it feel, Gareth? You know, I was thinking of how proud I am 
of my son and his wife and our new little grandbaby. It's just a wonderful area that they can raise their kids and whatever happens for them in the future, but great start. Bundles in two parts, huh? Yeah. Let it dry for a few minutes and then you sand it out? Yeah, we'll let it dry and then we give it a sand and got ourselves a little patch. Solid too, really, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Living out in the country like we do in this long dirt road, it's not like cars are on the top of our priority list. No, no. It's, you know, people who live in town, they're probably more concerned about their cars. We just want it to last another season, you know? <laughs> I'm so happy to do that. It's actually cheaper to just, you know, buy a used car and maintain the shocks and the struts on it than it is to buy a new one and just tear it up. With Shay moving to the city now, a car becomes more important. Shay had mentioned to me, she says, you know, Mom, I just don't feel very good getting into this car. It doesn't make me feel good about myself. And I was like, oh my, well, we need to get on the stick and as a family pull together and help make that a different thing for Shay. I mean, her other option, of course, is to buy a new car, but... I have to wait for that a little Yeah, bit she doesn't want to go into debt buying a car. She would rather fix this one up, drive it around while she's saving for that new car so she doesn't have to get a loan on it. Yep. I think that's a good way to go. Yep. All right, guys, so now we're taping off. Mm -hmm. Pretty exciting. Gary, Indiana. It's a little tape off, yep. Done it. Getting a surprise Shay here. She's working. We thought we'd get it primered. We might even get it painted before she gets here, but we're going to at least get it primered. Gary got the bumpers all fixed up. They're so nice. They did an excellent job on these. Got all sanded down. It's really good. Can you tell that, that it was so broken up? This is the one that was really broke up. That's the back bumper there, and it is amazing now. There's the patch there. It's gonna turn out beautiful when it gets painted. It's gonna be just absolutely beautiful. I got the next piece of the puzzle. This is two yards of lava rock. I tested it in vinegar, and this is what the test looks like, which I did do at the rock yard as well. Chunk of the material you wanna use, in this case we got the lava rock here. It's been rinsed off, so there's all the dust and powders are off of it, and you just put the vinegar in there. You just want to kind of cover. You can see down in there, and you don't see a ton of bubbles coming up, which would indicate that there's a lot of sodium in it, and that'll mess with the pHs of the water. This whole thing would turn white pretty much after you let it set for, oh, I don't know, maybe five minutes or so. It looks really good. So let's get this unloaded. Okay, it's all unloaded. Next thing on the list is gonna be loading into the grow beds here. Gonna have to wash it off and pack it on in. How are you girls today? Doing good. How you doing, sweetheart? How about you guys, you guys doing good? Time to start rinsing off this rock. So what I think I'm gonna do is just gonna fill this up probably about three quarters of the way. I mean, I just have a five gallon bucket with a bunch of holes drilled in the bottom. I'm just gonna fill this bucket up with rock and then just dunk it in and out a few times, let it drain. So I guess I'm gonna get started on that. Really nice. Yeah, that's, I think that's about our ideal level for this stuff. So I'll keep going then. Nice. Well, the system is working, I think, to clean us out. That's a good thick layer of fine, silty mud in there. This is a good first start of it. I 
got all of the rock cleaned off and loaded up. Still got a little bit left over, which is gonna be nice for anything in the future, but all these grow beds are filled up with rock and ready to go. These two are gonna be raft beds, so they don't get any rock. Bryson's hitting the car with a little bit of air compressed. Just kind of going around the uh, car right now, getting all the little dust around it, just blowing it away. So that hopefully when we paint it, there'll be less dust getting on the car. So we don't really have a paint room. We have to just go with what we got. Um, there's a little bit of wind today, which is not ideal, but we're gonna do it anyway. The main goal today is to get the primer on. So first this step, to wipe it down with mineral spirits. Second step, tack it. Third step, paint it. Let's do it. Shall so, we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The primer time. It is. It's prime time for the primer. I got my hair all folded up in my hat. All right. So that it's not free flowing. Because if it's free flying, then uh, it gets a dusting. Pretty much what I'm gonna look like when we're done. I don't know if you've done. ever had paint in your hair. Best feeling ever. Who hasn't had paint in their hair? Let's be it, real honest. Honestly, I, I think in your personally, hair. it's ultimately the best torture ever. I tried kind of mixing it up, shaking it, but that wasn't the best. I didn't get it really mixed. So. This might be too thick to run through the gun, but... We might need to put paint thinner on it. Yeah, it. I already made a mess and I haven't even started painting. What's <laughs> new? So do we dip it in? Are we prepared for this moment in time? Ready. I need just a little bit in there. Let's begin the adventure. Over here, I'm going to... It's really quite close. We begin painting by pushing the trigger. I'm trying to kind of create a tacky layer. You can tack onto something. Bryson, this looks amazing! You're doing yeah. such a good job! Wow! That is professional! Wow, amazing! So cool, good job, Bry. Yeah, yeah! Is this your second coat? Uh, yeah, kind of. Doesn't this look so awesome, Gary? Yeah, it looks really good. Bree touched my paint job. Oh, oh. What? Unbelievable. Yeah, look at all this. All of this mess right here. This is my <laughs> sister. <laughs> oh, it even looks so cool like that. Wow. I'm just gonna go over it one more time. Like oh, it. it's so cute. Oh. The most amazing job ever. Well, we have to sand it all down. So this at least has to dry for 24 hours. We're gonna sand it tomorrow? Well, we'll sand it first before we get the final on because it's windy and some stuff has gotten on and we want to make sure it's as what? smooth as we have to sand it. And right. then we can paint it. Yes. Okay, yes. I got yes. you. Now that it's tacked, I'll now finish her up. I need to make some, uh, I guess they're kind of shields for the bell siphons. I want to put this big tube around the bell siphon with a bunch of slits cut in this tube. That way, when I have to do any maintenance to the bulkhead fitting or the bell siphon itself, it'll be a whole lot easier. Basically, one foot lengths, come up into little slits, and then those are going to go in the tanks. Alrighty, I think that'll work good. A lot of little slits in there so that the water can flow in just fine. Then it will keep it safe so I can get my hand down there and work on stuff if I have to. It's just gonna be nice for that. So I'm gonna build some wooden caps. I think it'll look a lot nicer out there and it'll be nice to keep the water that's sitting inside this clean if I didn't cap it. Anything could blow in and get into the system and plug up filters quicker and stuff. Okay, that'll fit on nicely. And then I think what I'm gonna do, just cut out another one of these. I'm gonna trace the center out of this one and then cut that out. It'll just fit on just like so. Wow! Oh, we're done. Good job, guys. Looks good, isn't it? Oh cool, we didn't paint over that. That's nice. Can look at your bumper. Wow. A little bit better. But Where was it here? Little yeah. Oh, you can better. hardly even tell. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to see that from the below. It does look a lot better than it did. Yeah, it looks really good. Well, the same thing I've already done. You might need to wipe it down. I've already done this part here and it's done pretty good. Being real gentle. 
doing the mineral spirits again. Kind of take off any sanding. You're gonna do two coats of yellow, is that correct? I think yeah. so. Just a touch of a breeze, but not really. Pretty still out here, so I think it's gonna be a great day to do this. Gary's going around and even touching up the bumper a little more. And then he'll sand it again. Yeah. It's just sweet. This bumper has come a long way. Come on in. Here's our yellow paint. It's really cool. I'll stir it up now. Very vibrant. That's yellow. We have reducer and a hardener that's gotta go in. And we're gonna do like half at a time. Perfect. You'll be able to easily find it though when you're at the store. Oh Where yeah. Where did I park my Oh, there it is. That was easy. Does anyone see a bright ray of sunshine? Yep, that's me. How we do, Dan? We do good? Yeah. Good enough to eat. <laughs> Bree's not here, so I'll have to say it. Stirring to watch it stir. Gotta have a little Bree substitute sometimes. Which I don't know what that would be. I know what the substitute to Shea would be. That'd be margarine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's ready. The oh. substitute to Bree would be... Velveeta. Velveeta? <laughs> That's a Velveeta pun right there. A Bree substitute. All right, Shay. you gonna try this? There you go. Yeah. Nicely done. All right. Cool. Okay. That was cool. All right, let's just do this section. Okay. Kind of ironic that Brie has cheesy puns. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just smooth as butter. Say, so you're going to want a mask, sweetie. You got another mask, Gary, for her? If you went into producing butter, you could do Shea's Shea Butter. Brie's Brie Cheese. If she ever makes goat cheese, she grabs the gun. She takes charge. It doesn't matter that it's goat cheese. It's still gonna be brie cheese. Goat cheese, or is brie cheese a certain animal? That's what we wanna know. Oh, that's, uh, we don't know. This is a coat, and then she'll go over it again. Yeah. We have encountered a bug that landed, but she nice fixed it. it. Well, Shay, first impression of the color? I'm gonna drive a lemon now, and that's all there is to it. Is that good or bad though? Are you happy? I think it's good. I think if we get like some orange sunflowers, some orange bee combs and a couple little bees, it would be really cute. Oh my gosh, would it ever. Maybe a sunflower on one side and some bee comb on the other. Wow! You loving it, Jay? It's so cute, I want one. I love it. Cool. It looks good. good job guys you can have a new yellow car i'm heading over right now to go look at the paint job oh i can already kind of see it. it looks epic all that yellow nice oh that's so much better than the primer oh but look at that that color is yes 10 out of 10. good job my dear sister picking the color very nice. All right, well, I kind of forgot to put these things in before I filled the rock up, which is a bummer because it's gonna be a lot harder now to install them. But it is what it is, so I'm gonna dig around them and put those guys in, put the caps on them, and kind of clean this up. Now that I got my shields in, I can set the heights of my standpipe. I want this to sit, I think, about an inch below the surface of the rock. So I need to take off at least an inch. That's right at about an inch below the surface of the rock. I don't want the water coming above the rock. It's gonna start growing algae on the rock and that's just gonna steal nutrients from the other plants. Our cap's gonna fit on there nicely now. We got plenty of room underneath there when we start adjusting siphons. Just took a little bit off of these. So now I just got the four more to do and I think we'll be done with the grow beds for right now until we can get some water in the system. worked 
super, super hard today to get the last coat of paint on it, and it looks so beautiful. I just love it. It's wonderful. It's a little bit unique in the way that it feels. The color's good. We're coming near that finish line. The finishing touches that we want to add to wrap this project up are painting some designs on the outside, doing a clear coat that's going to help protect our paint. And the other thing that I want to do is because my sticker bombing didn't work on that little console thingy, I want to go in and I want to paint it. Something yellow, something cheery to match the exterior. Then I think it's done. Alright, Right, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. We're done for the day. Day two, day four, week, whatever, doesn't matter because we're done for the day. Lots of hard work on dad's part, lots of hard work on my part. Try and drag out this project to as long as absolutely possible. <laughs> when it's done, we'll wait another week because why not? And then I can drive it. I'm so excited that her feet are finally big enough to wear them. If you are new with us and you didn't see the video of those shoes being painted, we'll post that recap down in the description. And speaking of shoes, the t-shirt design of the week is Little Azalea Shoes. If you'd like to get this design on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, handbag, you could even do a little baby onesie if you want to encapsulate the Azalea Shoes. Or all of the other designs that we've done in the past, we'll have our merch shop down in the description. We wear them just about daily. The only time we wouldn't be wearing them is if it's laundry day. It's definitely worth recommending. And then of course, you know, it's our shop, so it does support us. We got more recaps coming out every Wednesday. Those are single subjects pulled from our weekly peaks. Those are catered towards people that just like to watch one subject at a time. Every Monday we have our audio only podcasts. Those are for if you're doing projects and have it listening in the background. Maybe you're painting your car or you're doing an aquaponic system. You never know. We love to hang out with you for an hour while you're doing whatever task you're up to. Fridays, of course, is this show, so grab your snacks, grab your popcorn, and settle in for a 20-minute variety show. Speaking of which, this is one of the doors, and we're gonna have this done really soon, possibly next week. I don't want to commit, but you never know. Maybe. So that'll be coming to a variety show weekly peak near you. Catch us every Friday night, every Wednesday, and every Monday. Thank you so much for being a part of our family, and we look forward to hanging out with you on Monday. Bye! moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. A long time ago, we bought a huge load of Milo and, a, and local we did. little javelinas like came through and completely terrorized it. And I think that they've spread Milo just around our area and it's not turned into any of the grain at the top it's just yet. just flowering. Just flowering, but they're beautiful. And we have them all over the side of our road, just around our house. Yep.